Well, the question, of course, people on a Sunday, hopefully it's not like today, Chris. Yeah, that may be when we finally get out of this very unsettled pattern on Sunday. But I'm going to see Ernie take it to the streets with their <laughs> dancing moves. All right, we've had some damage out there. Babylon, some mud. wires are down. It had a gust of 54 miles an hour. Captree State Park had a gust of 51. Mamaroneck had a gust of 61 miles per hour with these storms. Uh, Lindenhurst had some trees down out in Long Island. And again, the tree limbs down here as well in the Lindenhurst area, 407, as I was just saying. But for the most part, it's about the heavy rain more so than the wind that we will be experiencing over the next, let's say, 12 to 18 hours across the area. Right now, the radar is lit. It's a color chart, and that's not where you want to see a color chart on the radar. As we zoom in a little bit closer here, again, the severe thunderstorm warning in effect till 6. This is Bergen, Bronx, uh, the northern half of Manhattan and Westchester County as well involved in that. It has been raining very, very heavy here, but yet you go into lower Manhattan. It hasn't been much in terms of rainfall. Portions of Queens, northern half of Queens, seeing some very heavy downpours. There's flood warnings there as well. Severe thunderstorm warning till 6 and 100 in Morris, Somerset County. This may get extended a little bit as it moves further east, probably into a Union, Essex County. There's also a severe thunderstorm warning and also some flood concerns because these storms are moving so slow. Further to the south, we had some really heavy duty rain through portions of Monmouth County, now into Ocean County. And then you go further west, right along that I-78 corridor. We're seeing that area filling in and we're going to watch this batch of very heavy rain and thunderstorm activity coming out of Pennsylvania. Behind that, there's another one. So we're talking several hours. This isn't like a cold front that's going to come through and in a half hour, 45 minutes, we're done and things clear up. This front is stalling and sticking around, and that means the threat of this sticks around all night. 9 o'clock tonight, look at the heavy rain across the area. Rumbles of thunder embedded in there. 11 o'clock, same scenario. Tomorrow morning, still maybe one more surge coming on through 5, 6 a.m. in the morning and then gradually sliding to the east. After we get rid of this and the drenching downpours tonight, scattered showers tomorrow. Should break down a little bit to a quieter pattern. I think Wednesday night and part of Thursday, not out of the woods entirely for showers, but then we've got to deal with this. This is again what's left of Debbie tracking to the west of us with very heavy rain potentially again later Friday and especially Saturday. We're talking flooding rains again already on top of saturated ground. Only good news. The heat gets broken with all of this 71. That's it. Tomorrow 73 Thursday. Most of the day dry Thursday, so that's not too bad. And then Friday the storms come in, especially at night. Saturday could be a stormy day. First half of the day and there's Sunday for the parade. Looks like things get a little bit better temperatures in the lower 80s. This weather.